I'd say, uh, I mean, obviously I'm more familiar with it. You know, Coach Kingsbury obviously knows it the best. But, uh, yeah, obviously, you know, with him being a veteran, not having to come to every, you know, OTA and stuff like that, I, me being there every day, uh, studying it every day, yes, I do know it better. But, uh, I mean, I, that's my job, so. What advantages do you think it'll be for you to learn on the job to play right away as opposed to, you know, traditionally court, rookie quarterback sit and watch a little bit? Um. You know, I, I think that, you know, coming off of a, a pretty pretty good season at Oklahoma, um, you know, playing good football, knowing, you know, what it takes uh, to be good at that level, um, bringing that, ho hopefully bringing that into this season, obviously. Uh, but I think, you know, it's going to take a lot of reps between me and the guys getting on the same page. Um, you know, obviously this is Coach Kingsbury's first year. So uh, just finding that finding that groove. And once we do, uh, I think we can be pretty dangerous. Do you understand that there'll be struggles? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, playing early my freshman year in college, uh, you know, struggled a little bit. Um, and I think that's that's uh, prepared me for, you know, a little bit of failure. Obviously, we don't hope to fail, but it's part of it. And, uh, you know, when it happens, I'll know how to handle it. So. How ready are you for this potential up and down? I don't, you know, I'm not waking up thinking, oh, you know, I can't wait to fail or anything like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I, I you know, approach every game the same, uh, you know, going in to win. Uh, and, and, you know, it's like I said, it takes a lot of hard work throughout practice, uh, you know, the game plan, um, how well we feel about it, stuff like that. So there's a lot that goes into it. And, uh, you know, if there are some up and downs, ups and downs, then uh, we'll know how to handle it. Does winning baseball help in that regard? Because baseball failure is yeah. hard. You go three, you strike out seven or ten times, you're hit. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely. Uh, you know, they, people ask me that all the time. I'd say yes. Uh, like you said, you fell, you fell a lot, and you just you got to learn to deal with it, go on, and uh, you know, next at bat, stuff like that. So uh, it's definitely helped. What do you take from the freshman year that just you know things not going the way you wanted to, you know, being a big time guy, and then uh, you know, kind of having never really failing, and then you know, kind of hitting that wall a little bit. So uh, you know, pushing through, and uh, you know, you work hard. I mean, it, it is what it is. You're gonna fail. So uh, it's the best of the best in NFL, and you know. I know that. So. so much is made about the speed being different, jumping from college to pro. What have you noticed about defenses specifically? Yeah. Same thing I said. You know, when I was out here the first time, it was you know the windows are a lot tighter. Uh, guys are a lot smarter. You know, they they know what you're doing before you you know you even do it. You say hut, they already know what you're looking for. So. Uh, it's fun. It's kind of a mind game, but uh, it's it's fun. You know, it's a lot of competition, and uh, you know, it's everything. You know, I thought it would be so. When Josh Rosen left, he left you a little message on his Instagram saying, yeah. I got this two-bedroom old town. Did you take him up on that offer? I've actually been in it, but no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no it's, a, it's a nice spot, for sure. What about the chemistry you see you're trying to develop? How is that coming, and who's it coming with really well? Um, you know, I don't give you any specifics, but everybody's, you know, we're all getting on the same page, uh, working hard each and every day. Um, and you, you can tell, you know, I think everybody can tell, you know, it was kind of iffy at first once, you know, everybody was getting in the system, learning, you know, learning the nuances of it. But now, you know, we're, it's, it's been a lot smoother. And, uh, you know, week by week, you just, you know, we're getting better. What kind of weapons do you think you're going to have with those receivers? I think we got a lot of weapons. Yeah. What do, what do you think? Kevin White, you said, what did you say? What do you think? Oh, I mean, not only him, but all the receivers. Uh, you know, they're working hard each and every day, um, and we're, we're just all trying to get better. What kind of relationship do you have with, with Brett Hunt right now, now that you've know him a little bit? <laughs> yeah, no, we're all good. Quarterback room's fun. Uh, <laughs> it's open. You know, there's no there's no conflict in anything like that. You know, Brett's a great guy so far since I've met him. Um, you know, he's been in the league for quite some time now, so you know, he's giving me advice on things he's seen. He's obviously played with some greats, so uh, I think that's good for me. What kind of schedule do you have this summer, Kyler, coming up? What's it look like? Just working, working out, getting ready for the season. Staying here. How long will you be here? So uh, I think I'm not even sure yet. You're, uh, you're obviously the number one pick, yeah. and you got a tight end who was picked last. <laughs> uh, man, I had a pretty decent college career. Yeah. Oh, good numbers. What? Can you tell us about Caleb Wilson and his chances and what you like about him? I love Caleb. Um, you know, really good pass catcher. Um, you know, I didn't I didn't realize he played quarterback in high school and stuff like that. And then you know, he was a walk on at, at UC, USC. But you know, he works. He's worked hard uh, for everything he's earned. But uh, now that he's here, man, really catch the ball, run good routes, smart, 
um, just has a good feel for you know soft spots and zones and how to get open and man. So. Do you see like jet sweeps and bubble screens? Do you look at those as extended run plays? How does that affect the defense? <sighs> You'd have to talk to Coach Kingsbury about that one. Just I mean, putting guys in space, um, and, you know that's what this offense does: puts people in space, uh, makes the defenders, you know, make make decision. Uh, and uh, like I said, I think it'll be very dangerous. How much more comfortable are you now with the NFL throws than you were a couple months ago? I have a real, I feel like I haven't really even you know kind of seen it all. Obviously, I mean I haven't even. Uh, you know, went live or, you know, played in a scrimmage yes, and stuff like that. So uh, getting used to it right now, you know, locker room and stuff like that, everybody around here. But uh, uh, for me, just taking it one day at a time, um, you know, but I can't wait till you know, it's really, it's really on. So what are the realistic rushing totals for you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, never thought about it. No. No. We'll see. Uh, I think it's, I think it's very possible. Just because you know, I know, uh, you know, Coach Kingsbury talks about it a lot. You know how 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 great of a route runner he is out of the backfield. So uh, I'm sure, you know, that'll be a weapon that we you know utilize. But uh, he can do it all. So I'm definitely glad to share the backfield with him. Is it hard to keep everything with us on the wraps? With y'all? Oh yeah, a little bit. Just because I know everybody wants to know about it, but. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> no, it's just you. Just answer. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. We'll see. What are you calling this offense? An offense? Not even a fun nickname. No. It's an offense. An explosive offense. It was hot. Uh, you know, it's been a minute since I've been in the heat. But um, it, it was good. It was good to kind of knock some of the rust off, get back out there with the guys, and just kind of run around and play some football. So it was really fun. Really you, fun. You good and Chandler looked like you were having a lot of fun together. Yeah, that's going to be <laughs> – when you click, you click. You know, I spent a lot of time with his brother, you know what I'm saying? So we already got history. So, you know, it's, it's just – we just got natural chemistry, and you know, just having some fun. That picture you guys took together yesterday, oh, it looked like y'all are best friends already. <laughs> oh, you know, they recommended the the Step Brothers pickers. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Somebody uh, posted it, said the Sack Brothers. I thought that was pretty clever. I like it. But, you know, we're just having fun. It's June. You know, we're just trying to – Get as good as we can get right now. Did you get to know Chandler through John? Yeah. No, I mean through Art. Through Art, Art, Art there you yeah. go. Yeah. Arthur Jones, you know, he played with us, won a Super Bowl with us when uh, I played in uh, Baltimore. So we always knew each other. He said yeah. he's already learned some things from you. Yeah. He was asking about why you start with a side stance. Have you guys yeah. had a lot of football talk? Today? Yeah. We Over the years, yeah, we've had a lot of football talk. So, I mean, like I said, when you have chemistry, natural team chemistry like that, you know, natural good things are going to happen. So, How did it feel to be back out there? It felt good. It felt really good. Um, <laughs> like I said, you got to get to run around, you know, knock some of the rust off, and, you know, it's just good. Good to play football. How does the team stop both of you guys? Say that again? How does the team stop both of you guys? I don't know. I'm pretty sure, you know, the offense, you know, they always get the pin last, so to say. You know, we just got to, whatever they do, we just got to, you know, be productive and go out there and win. So. Double takes, just looking down, seeing the Cardinal logo on your chest, everything like that, finally, finally being here in the Cardinal. Nah. No double takes, no double takes. You know, when I first got the, the decal, I was just like looking at it and I was like, all right, here we go. You know what I'm saying? You know, you switch from one bird to another, you know, from one color helmet to another. So it's all, you know, it's, it's all football at the end of the day. After so. 16 years, there's still, are there still things you can learn from a guy like you? Absolutely, Martin? absolutely. I ain't never had 17 sacks in a season, so <laughs> most definitely I can learn something, you know. So um, we're definitely looking forward to it. Have yeah. you already, I mean, when your football comes Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We definitely, you know, picking each other's brain, what we know, you know what I'm saying, what works, what don't work, you know, what type of guys, you know what I mean, we're going to be going against, stuff like that. Some of the concepts that Vance, well, not the concepts, some of the scheme that Vance does, is very similar to what you're doing in Baltimore? Very similar, yeah. It was very similar. I mean, um, but like I said before, at the end of the day, it's all football. You know what I mean? We've all been doing this since before we can, we were conscious we were playing football. So it's not, it's not, it's not too difficult. At the end of the day, you just play football. What are your impressions of Kyler? Uh, you got a nice arm. Kid, <laughs> kid's talented, so, you know. Uh, but it's June. We, we all still got work to do. You know what I'm saying? So. It's easy to look good in June. It's leadership. It's, it's June. We're just trying to be as good as we can be, you know? When does leadership start for you on a day? Is it all day for you when you're in 
Um, I think uh, naturally I've been kind of a, a lead by doing guy, you know, just, uh, you know, showing up to work every day, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you never ask your teammates to do something, something you wouldn't do yourself. So um, just show up to work every day. How much of that is going to be your responsibility? Just to keep sacking. <laughs> um, you know, I'm pretty much just trying to, you know, and place myself, you know, um, with the guys we got, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we are accountable to each other. So um, whatever I can do to help, you know, over my, you know, 17 years in the league to kind of help us become a better team, I'm going to do so. so. Well, you just got to adjust, you know what I mean? You got to be able to adapt, you know, to the change of times, you know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, if you want to stick around, you want to stay around, you, you got to adapt to the times. And if that's what, you know, all teams are going through, you just got to learn how to win. Are certain things that you can do on an individual basis to adapt to it? Um, yeah, there's always something you can do, especially to get better, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you just got to work. So, you just got to work. What's it like being back home? It feels good to be back home. I love being back home. All right, one more, and I got to go. You know, this team was last in rush defense a year ago. To what degree does the turnaround start with defending the run? Oh, well, that's got to be first and foremost. I mean, and you, you, you do it within your preparation and with your personnel and, and then your scheme. So um, we handle the run first, and then you earn the privilege to rush the passer. So. I think there's probably some truth to that, having played in a similar system um, for all those years. Christian Kirk has a good feel for it as well, I'd say. Some of the terminology and concepts are really similar to what they've, they've done before. When Kyle makes mistakes with this element, are they glaring or are they just middle? Um, you know, a little of both. I like his attitude because he's going to take chances, and this is the time to do it. Um, see what you can get away with. If you want to go after Pat a couple times, it's usually all it takes to learn. Um, <laughs> But no, he's aggressive in nature, the way he, he thinks and attacks when he's out on the football field, and, and I like that. I think just comfort in the system, you know, um, in the surroundings. I think guys understand how he operates now, and, um, you know, he's all about ball. He wants to be a great player, and that's his focus, and, and that's the way he carries himself. Can you worry at all in this heat how effective the players are, how much they're paying attention? Uh, you know, we have a great training staff that does a great job of kind of keeping me on top of that and, and how hot it's going to be and, and where they're at and um, sports science guys as well. So I feel like, we, you know, we have a good handle on it. You know, he's big, fast. You can see all the attributes that made him a top 10 pick and had some unfortunate injuries there in Chicago and, and trying to kind of reestablish himself um, really kind of like his rookie year, I think, for him. It's a fresh start, um, a system that he has some familiarity with, and, and um, we're hoping he take, takes advantage of it. Yeah, I think, you, like I said, you look at the attributes and that doesn't change. You're that big and you're that fast, has a great catch radius. Um, you know, I coached against him in college, so I saw it firsthand just how good a player he can be. And, and I think we're just working to get him um, a comfort level that allows him to, to show those attributes. Do you think you'll carry six receivers? Uh, we'll see. Uh, still early in the process to kind of see where it goes and how this offense plays out. And Steve and I, uh, Michael, sit down and, and figure things out. When you look at Demir Bird and Earl Cooper, you look at those guys as return guys. How are they looking at wide receiver? Yeah, you know, Demir can really run. Uh, great speed. Um, tries to do everything right. Whatever Coach Rye is teaching him, he, he tries to apply to the practice field. So we like his work habits and uh, like that burst that he brings. Where does that change? He's a really good player. I've been surprised at um, you know his ability as a, as a cat pass catcher. I, I think watching him, you know, I knew what David could do out of the backfield. Watching him, that's that's a strong point of his game as well. And so he'll have a uh, a really nice role in the offense. A lot of teams now the carries on the running backs, keeping guys fresh. You have a kind of a bell count, David. Though, do you believe in that? And not getting one guy too heavy of a load. Yeah, I think we'll have to see. Um, David could have a pretty extensive role in this offense, and, and we want him fresh, and we want him at, at his best, whether we're asking him to carry it 35 times a game or catch 10 passes. And, and so we just got to see um, kind of how the, the numbers shake out. How valuable is Harold Cooper's experience over the last couple of years on that winning? Yeah, I love the way he competes. I love the way he practices. Every time we um, tend to have a uh, 
any sort of competitive period, he shows up, and that's what you want to see. Um, tough, fast, big uh, for an inside receiver, and, and I like what I've seen so far. Yeah, I think you know we, we feel like we have a good offensive line room with Coach Kugler. Um, he's a really, really talented offensive lineman. I mean, he started eight games last year as a rookie there in Cleveland, and um, size, length, great pass protector, and, and so um, we wanted to uh, to see how it goes here. When you look at, at Terrell Suggs, obviously he can play the game very well, but we talked about his leadership. Is there one of those sides that you think is going to be more valuable for this team with what he does on the field or what he can do? I think a combination of both. You know, even out, having out him out there today just has juice, championship pedigree. I mean, the way he carries himself, he was in great shape, and, uh, you know, he, he's such a great guy for – any of those young defensive linemen, pass rushers to learn from. No doubt, no doubt. They're like, you know, they know um, they're good for each other. I think it's going to be hard to single either one of those guys, and so one of those guys is going to be um, in a favorable matchup, and, and they know it's it's just going to help both of them. It's Terrell noticeable on the practice field if you're watching offense. Can you just hear him or does he make himself – yeah, no doubt. I mean, he's seen a lot of football, been in a lot of systems, very, very smart football player. And, and you can hear um, him talking throughout practice and pointing things out and coaching. And uh, so that, that's great for, for our defense. What's the hardest thing intellectually for a new player to pick up in your I think probably, um, you know, just the tempo at times, being able to think quickly if we are going to pick up the pace and, and get rolling. Um, you want to have that fine line of not thinking too much, but we want to have enough in that we can um, still be an attacking, um, you know, kind of given the illusion of complexity out there. And so I think when we start going fast, sometimes it, it freezes guys up. But once they get accustomed to it, they can pick it up. Uh, how do your rookie pass catchers which one has a pressing ball so far? You know, they're, they're all a work in progress, I'd say. Everyone has um, different attributes that, that we're excited about. but. We got a long way to go um, with that group, and they know that. But it, they've worked hard so far. I was talking about Caleb Wilson, attributes he has. What do you think about Caleb now that you've got a chance to look at him? Yeah, great pass catcher. Obviously, led the country last year for tight ends and receiving. Um, really ran well um, in his 40, and, and you can see that has great um, route running ability, great hands, and um, so I'll be interested to see once we get pads on, kind of where that goes. Uh, there, there's, you know, some similarities, I'd say, but um, we, we've tried to put together the best for what we're going to do here. And so a lot of input from a lot of different people on this staff to kind of come up with the best plan for us. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some truth to that, obviously. But for us, with a rookie quarterback, you know, being our starter, it's – it's really important. It's been been great for us to get him out there and get him comfortable and throw it around, e even without pads on. It'll be a little cooler, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to being out there in Lubbock, Texas, so it'll be a little cooler. But I I'm excited to um, go through that process, and uh, it's a great setup we have out there, and so that should be a lot of fun. Cliff, does it by design have so many big wide receivers to look at in camp? Uh, we'll see. Um, we just wanted to see what, you know, kind of shakes out. We, we like having some side out, size outside that for a young quarterback can, can be a crutch at times. Those guys can go up and make a play. And obviously Larry over the middle with his size has great catch radius. So we wanted to definitely add some size.